Hello everyone, and I welcome you all to another video of our teaching series. And in this video, we are going to look at another interesting problem called square root of a number. Alright, so uh, first of all, let's understand what is the description of the question. So the question goes like, given an integer x, uh, find the square root of x. If x is not a perfect square, then return the floor of x. Suppose x is 5, say, uh, so what would be the square root of 5? Uh, square root of 5 uh, would be 2 point something, right? It would be 2 point 2 three. And if you have just set the floor, floor means the lower one. We have already discussed in our previous video. So, it would be 2, right? Similarly, if I ask you the, uh, if the input is x4, its square root would be 2. Suppose I uh, give you the x as 25, the output would be 5. Okay. So, first question is how will you solve this question? Okay. Now, uh, let's see if I have 25. Its answer would be what? 5. How would you come to this answer? Okay, one thing is we can use an iterator. Iterator will go from for i is equal to 0, i less than equal to uh, i cross i less than equal to x i plus plus. Very simple. What we are going to do is we are going to But see, if I have to find the square root of 25, uh, it would not be, you know, if I suppose it was 17. So, suppose I take i as 4. 4 into 4 would be 16. 4 into 4 would be 16, and I know this would be my answer. I would go to 17. Right? I would go to 5. Now, see, 5 into 5 would this not return the answer here. Okay. That's why we use this one. Now I will simply say answer is equal to i cross i. Right. Now I say if my answer equals to x, I will return this. Right. What will the time complexity be? In such operation, it will be O of n power half. Right. So this was the nice solution. Now, uh, you may pause the video for two minutes. Think about how you can use a binary search in this thing. Okay. Right. So I hope uh, you must have write this question and it's, it's fine if you can open the solution here. Alright, let's try and think how to solve this question. Hmm. What I think I can do is, suppose, 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 I take low as 1. And suppose I take i as x, alright. Now what I'll do is, i simply do a binary search. I'll say while low less than equal to i, I want to find my mid, right. Now my potential answer will be what? Mid cross Mid. Right, this is also mid. Now, suppose my potential answer is greater than x. That means my mid is a number greater than the square root of 4 or square root of my x. So obviously, I'll put high as mid minus 1. If 
my potential answer is less than x. So I do do equal to mid plus one. And the potential answer will be the potential answer. So I am this will be answer here. So I am just the answer here. All right. <coughs> now let's try and put this thing out with t out there. Let's have low as one, high as x, answer as minus one. Now I say y low less than high should be equal to. Now, what I said, let's have mid as low plus i i to mid, and let's have a um, uh, potential answer. The basic addition is if potential answer is equal is equal to x, I simply what I want, right? And I say the potential answer greater than x, I put a uh, high as mid minus one. As you thought, I will do two things: low would be put as mid plus one. And answer will be equal to mid. And in the end, if we cannot find the exact perfect square root, we will go for the close. Where will be the answer? Here. So same thing here. Here is the answer. Let's try and apply this video. Okay. So let's try and find this one. This should work. So I hope you understood how this question works. Right. And uh, I guess that was it for this video. And if you have any doubt regarding this video, you may ask it in the comment section. In the next few video, we are going to uh, take some more tough and interesting problems based on bank research. So thank you once again for watching this video. See you later.